Hey there folks, JW here again, and if you've seen my TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, one of those things, you've probably already seen that the costume's already done here. Now I did a test walk where everybody seems to like it. It's basically recreating the scene where Huggy walks out of the uh, big doors. And here's the clip. first video I did, I had no idea how hot this thing would actually be once I was walking around. I mean, I should. I've lived in Florida my whole life, but holy moly, I sweat buckets. And I mean literal, maybe not literal buckets, but you get the idea. So hopefully I got a cool vest coming in the mail today. But I also wanted to show you some of the things that I added to the costume. Now, you've probably seen the little box I made. I haven't put this in yet. And honestly, this is just a makeshift thing that I made. Um, so this is um a little box that I made. It's not nothing special. Um, it's just a little chip. It plugs into the computer, you drag and drop MP3 files to it, and it has a little speaker. Um, and this is just something I think I stole from a Samsung box, and I customized it. Uh, it has a little tiny pin, you probably can't see it, but there's a little tiny pin in here that I flip it on and off, and this is where it plugs into the computer, also to charge it. So it's nothing high tech or anything, but I'm gonna probably stick that in the mask and have it play. Um, and I need to extend this cord if I'm going to do that so that I can put it down to my hand and click it, click, click. You know. um, if I can't get it incorporated, it's not a big deal. I mean, Huggy Wuggy's voice is pretty basic and I do voices, so, I mean, Does someone need a hug? Give me a big squeeze. I promise I won't bite. So, I mean, I could do it. Now, for the hands, I just sewed them. And that seemed to solve the problem pretty easily. They're all one cohesive piece now. I tried with Velcro and it just, the thing's so heavy, it, it doesn't stay on right. And I would have needed some elaborate hook system. It was just easier for me to sew it on because I'm running out of time. I got things to do before then. Um, but that also poses another problem. When this thing's on, you know how hard it would be to put a costume on? Nearly impossible. Or if something happens like my stilt comes loose, I can't access them because I can't get my hands out. So I actually ended up taking some elastic and uh, sewing a hole into it so that I can stick my hand through if I need to. And uh, honestly, it's um, it blends really well. I can't ever find the hole. Um, let me hang on. I'll put my hand in and see. <laughs> Found it. Um, it's actually very hard to find from the outside, so that's good. I mean, you can't see it, um, but you can find it real easy from the inside. And it's just elastic sewn into the to the fabric and the ends are so triple, quadruple, a whole bunch, so that it doesn't uh, rip. Um, and it makes it for a nice little, little hole to open up, but when it's when it's closed, and the, the fur lays down properly, it's actually kind of tough to find. So that's good. And basically I added an extra strip of Velcro so that the uh, back doesn't flap open. Um, other than that, there's not a whole lot of changes that I've done. Um, I just made it so that the, oh, now the feet, as you can see here, just go around the stilt so that they uh, are easy to take off. And even places like Halloween Horror Nights don't typically put feet on their costumes. So I know it doesn't exactly touch the ground, but for safety issues, it really can't. Um, so I just wanted to make it as close as possible. And honestly, it doesn't look too bad. Um, and I, I did have to position the feet a little weird um, with Huggy, his feet are way up front and kind of flops them around. But I'm not a sock monkey and it's pretty physically impossible to do that. Uh, overall, it still looks good. Now, I know there's a little bit of a bulge because of the um, the foot, and I could probably make these wider, almost like bell bottoms. Honestly, I don't care anymore. <laughs> Maybe for another iteration, if I do Kissy Missy or something. People were asking me if I'm going to do other costumes. I could do Kissy Missy at this point. Uh, now that I have a basic layout, I could probably do it even quicker than the 40-something hours that I've put into this. Um, but who knows? Either way, I, I'm fine with it. It looks fine. There's a little bit of a bulge. No big deal. 
Other than that, wear in there like swimwear. I just need to do a vest test and also make sure my hands fit in the holes. Um, when I was doing the door reveal, I could not get access to my stilt on the right side and it actually came loose. It slipped off my leg. I just didn't secure it right, so I was freaking out. I had to have my wife tighten it, and I was going to go down to the end of the street. I have a really long driveway. I was like, forget it. We're just, I'm, I'm hot. I'm going to just go ahead and go inside and call it a night. So I need to make sure that I can access that easily by myself. Granted, I'm going to have handlers there to help me because this thing is unwieldy. Um, at some point, if I keep this costume going, I don't know if I will or not. At the whims of my daughter, whether she likes Huggy Wuggy next year. I don't know. Ultimately, if I do keep it going, I'll need to figure out a way to do like a button system uh, or a buckle system for the hands because uh, the hands are unwieldy without being able to access. The little ports help, but being able to disengage the arm completely would be much more helpful. I'm looking for a place to film before Halloween, maybe get some photos done with some creepy abandoned warehouse, but it's actually proving to be pretty tough. There aren't a lot of places that I can access, legally anyway, um, and also want it to be safe. I don't want to be putting anybody in jeopardy. I just want to film in like an empty warehouse, really, and just do some maybe some fog effects with some lights. But without further ado, we'll have some testing done right now through the magic of editing uh, of the cool vest and see how it works as I walk down to the end of the street and wave at the passerbys. Two hours is enough to keep it cold for a little while. So I think we're good. I think I'm done with the costume for now, except for the voice box. Uh, so we'll talk to you later. I'll leave you with that, but as I always used to say on my podcast and my YouTube channel, be creative and stay spooky.